few thoughts on some of these these topics. One is okay. So uncommon results are going to come are not going to come from sort of common approaches. So if right. you would like to sit with the herd and you're comfortable with the herd, then that that's you know the, the herd's zeitgeist is going to change and your mindset is going to change, but it's going to change within the herd and you're going to be very comfortable because you're both profiting and suffering from all of your brethren. And we know the behavioral bias that comes with that. I come back to when you're educating people. Yes, we're on this microphone talking about things it today and today's tribe and today's receptive audience that might join our tribe changes. And it, so I look at it as I, we talk about this all the time. It's like a conveyor belt. There's a whole bunch of people that are moving through time. They're growing older. Their preferences are changing. And here we are as well, speaking and talking to that group. And as Rodrigo is mentioning, there's just these different levels of receptivity to certain things that we're offering. And so, yes, I think you're right, um, Jason. We are on that track. We are doing those things. And the receptivity of the tribe as a whole is going to ebb and flow. What I want to come back to, philosophically, being different, right, is really hard and painful. So you, you're, you're long vol manager, yeah. right? Life's that hard. person has a certain personality that can't function unless life is like that. That, for them, is their nirvana. And they're trying to find others in their tribe that are similar in that in that vein. So my fear is, for me anyway, because one of my superpowers is irreverence. I can stand by my fucking self with a, an opinion that is totally different than everybody else's and be slung, whipped, and I will refuse to change my mind. So it's good at some Endorse. Point, no. And Endorse. it's not good at other points. Right. It's the hard part. Interesting. Let me, let me just finish. Yeah, sorry. The, the final point is, so for people who are at the fringe and become more in the middle or receive adoption through whatever means that's changing the zeitgeist, can you change? Can you become the one who sits on the fringe to someone's in the middle? Or will you get there and say... I got to start a new business that's more on the fringe again because I'm uncomfortable that everyone's doing what well, I'm doing. Well, this is, see, I, I, I have thought about this, right? Are we zealots? Are we just as yes. zealot as the NFT guys or the gold bugs, right? Yes. Aren't we all that? And my answer to that is no. We are the centrists, okay? That's the reality here. We are the but you're, are you're zealot centrist, not, though. But see, no, right? There <laughs> is an answer here. There is a better approach that we have thoughtful, empirical, financial evidence to show that this is for the goals that the vast majority of the population requires. This is a better approach, categorically better, because ensembles, diversification, the explicit recognition of our ignorance, understanding human motivations and that, that will allow for that diversification, you know, you, when you move away from that is when you start becoming more and more zealot. So Mike, to your point, when, when everybody does what we're doing, will I want to go and do something very different just because? Not me. I have, I, like, remember where I came from, what, why I decided to go in this space and be diversified and be terrified of, of an equity line that wasn't kind of slow, uh, low volatility and, and upward sloping, it was because of what had happened to my family and their wealth over and over again, right? So there is a, I think there is a truth. I think there, I am not a zealot. I think I, and, and, and what we are offering is the middle line. Says, says every zealot. And, I, I was about to say, the lady doth the protest too much. The population doing this, I'm not, that, that's not my personality. I'm not going to be like, screw these guys. Now I'm going to go and do... I don't know, long uh, volatility investing because I want to feel the pain of exclusion. For Christ's sake, guys. <laughs>